So I watched Portrait of Lady on Fire for the first time. And? I'm mad that Parasite won over it. Is it not a magnificent motion oh. picture? It's, it's the best film from that year. It is an absolute... Was it nominated for it Best Picture or was it only foreign? Only foreign. And it is head and shoulders above Parasite. That it's it, one of the best films of the last that 15 years. That is a mistake. That film is <laughs> magnificent. Oh. Every, every frame. It's, every it's, frame it's, of it, that film is it's beautiful. It's a hundred out of a hundred film. Yep. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm happy. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us, Twitter account, subscribe, and then like button. Yeah, that's, 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 that is, yeah. I was gobsmacked by that film. That, yeah. It is a beautiful the performances, the writing, movie. the, yeah, every, yeah, everything about that film was amazing. Yeah. And it, it's just one of those films I missed that year. Yeah. Uh, and I'd always intended to get to it because I, I wanted to see it really bad. But the fact that it one didn't even, I get Parasite was like this whole thing. But I don't even think that's Bong Joon Ho's best work. I've seen. No, Parasite's a good. It's a it's good, good no, movie. I'm not I felt like the craze for it was a bit. I'm not saying it's not high. A good movie, obviously. Bong Joon Ho. I don't know if he can make a bad movie. Yeah. And it's. I think it deserved to be nominated and all sure. that kind of stuff. But absolutely. That film was. It was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Anyways, uh, today we got a new trailer that just dropped, and it's uh, called Faraz. Faraz is for you. Faraz is for me. And it's actually a Hansel Mehta film, who is the um, director of Shahid Omerta Scam, 19 blah, blah, yes. blah. And few people know the owner of Facebook, Meta. No. no. Uh, but it's... Uh, I, I th did he also... Article 15? Did he direct Article 15? I don't know off I the top of my head. I'd have to look it up. I can't remember um, if he... Did or not, but um, he's a fantastic director. Yep, uh, one of the best, and I think it's something based off of a true story. I believe I could be wrong, but let's just get into this. All right. He tends to do stuff with a hard hitting message. I gave your mom a hard hitting message. Oh my god! Here we go. Looks like a pa parasite house. Oh! Standard night in America. This is about that one? What is the situation? What is the situation? Faraz Hussain. Bangladesh is gone. We will Islamke thele dar bante bench. Mera beta ma puri raat se andar phasa hua hai. Agar aap logon se nahi ho raha hai to mujhe batayiye I will go in. Islam khatre mein hai. Stop it. Hamari identity hamari culture se aati hai. Sirf hamari religion se nahi. I am how every Muslim should be. Pehle insaan ban. What the fuck is your problem? What the fuck is your problem? What the fuck is your problem? What the fuck is your 
So is it, it's it's not the Mumbai? Is it the Mumbai attacks? No, the... that was two thousand eight. Okay. Yeah. And so I thought it was at first when they were doing it, but it said that this was July first, two thousand sixteen. At read the this? very at the very front. Read this right here. Uh, it's based on the real life terrorist attack that ravaged a Dhaka cafe. Fares follows events that unfold over one claustrophobic night molded into a heart-wrenching hostage drama. Mm. An untold heroic tale about a young boy who stood tall in the darkest times. Wow. Wow. I, and I'm particularly uh, that powerful. Particularly moved by the prospect that I think is clear from our menu we've been given that a big part of this is going to be um, what he said there at the end mm -hmm. about the reclamation of Islam from I radical extremists. Yeah, I want my, I want my Islam I want my back. Islam back. People like you. Yeah, that was uh, a powerful, powerful line. line. That gave me that gave me chills there yeah. at the end. Um, and obviously, we're not Muslim, but that's that's obviously <laughs> from everything I've heard from actual Muslims. Obviously, that's not. What their religion never teaches, not what any well, religion it, it, really teaches, right? De depending upon your interpretations, yeah, right, of of sacred scriptures, yes, just like correct. you know, just like, like when any Christians shoot up places in the name of God, exactly. That's not, what, or if, if, if a Hindu does, it, not the, the, they don't teach that violence in there. Those are extremists that decide to do, to take it, to, yep, for I don't do their idiocy. I don't it's, know. It's the it's it's the cri textual criticism idea and concept of the difference between exegesis and eisegesis. If you if you exegete a text, you take it within context, and you take all of the who, what, where, when, and why, and you let it speak for yourself. When you eisegete a text, you have, it sounds like isolated, but that's not what it means. You're taking a particular text out of the context of who, what, where, when, and why, and making it mean what you want it to mean yeah. now. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. I'm very happy it's a Hansel Meta production. Because obviously everything we've seen of his is absolutely amazing. Yeah, he's one of the best directors in all of India, and he's always does stories that are that are important and that show you different perspectives. Like he's done yeah. the Omerta and um, and um, what was the other Shahid? Shahid. Oh, that were terrorist centric, right? Partially from the point of view of the terrorist, of the terrorist, right? Which is a difficult thing to do. Yes, right. Yes. <laughs> uh, but needs to be told. Yes. Yeah. Um, but this one, I'm very happy because obviously with stuff like this, he literally just started going in and shooting and he didn't cut away. Mm -hmm. And the the bullets weren't like, uh, like CGI'd. Right. It looked right? really good. And so that's one of our biggest gripes with like the, the film of last year, uh, Kashmir Files, right? Mm -hmm. People are always like, oh, they didn't, they don't believe in the blah, blah, blah. That's literally... Nothing about it that is why we didn't like that film. Correct. It was the filmmaking aspects of that film right. that we thought were poor. Right. <laughs> That's what we thought was poor. Correct. <laughs> Not the story. I was actually very happy we got to know the story. <laughs> we said that over and over again. But people don't listen, you know. No. Uh, and, but the fact that like a story like this, you need to be punched in the face with the realities of what happened. Correct. Right. With, with the brutality of what really took place. You don't need to sugarcoat things. Do because not sugarcoat it. These people died. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you're doing them a disservice by not showing well, the gruesomeness that happened. It's why storming the beach for, in oh, yeah. Saving Private yeah, Ryan yeah, 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 yeah. is as good as it is. Yeah. It's why Schindler's List is as good as it is, uh, which <laughs> thankfully the United Arab Emirates is now the first Arab nation to actually teach the Holocaust. Did you know that? Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. They have now, it just this was announced about a week ago. They're the first Arab nation to teach the every other Arab nation does not teach about it. They will not teach about the Holocaust. Well, my concern about this film huh. is that there will be too many people who drown out what could be the artistic excellence of it that should be the primary thing we talk about and the actual events that took place. Yeah. That there will be too many people who hold up a religious sentiment flag. Yeah. And become offended rather than open to the prospect of what's being communicated artistically. Example, there's a lot of folks over here, and in the UK, her poster was banned. Demi Lovato's new album's called Holy Fuck. <laughs> Have you seen the cover? No. She's in bondage on a cross. Okay. And it's called Holy Fuck. Nice. Okay? I like it. There's a lot, okay. It just because, as Ricky Gervais says, just because you're offended doesn't make you right. You don't have to listen to the music. You don't have to look at the imagery. And... My concern, just like with that album, I haven't heard her album. Ashley and Alexis have heard it. They don't particularly like it on an artistic level. Nice. But 
I I really hope the artistry because our artistry like speech is supposed to be about expressing what you want to express and then let's see at the end of the day if the artistry is telling you something that needs to be well, told I, I I at the end of the day the I don't think you have to worry about the audience that's that's gonna happen regardless Hansel I don't think ever um, from what I know about him and have seen even though we haven't seen scam which is probably one of his most popular things he's he's a director similar to like an on rug it's usually always about like what he wants to say and I it was an interesting thing and I'd, I'd imagine it's similar with Hansel um, about how Vishal's films and um, on rugs films have done mm. in the past because mm. I'm I was trying to make a point of how uh, box office is stupid mm -hmm. and so Anirag has 13 theatrical releases one in terms of their collection was average 12 flops slash disasters Vishal Bardwash 10 movies 2 averages 8 flops and I said imagine knowing the quality of this man's work and thinking box office is ever a good parameter of a film I'd imagine he doesn't have very many successes quote unquote in his in, in the box office world. right right um, and because the, 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 he's just going to tell his story. And, and and that's the other thing is I hope that when all is said and done, that the storytelling is done in such a way where the overall universal truths of things like love is always better than hate. Acceptance is always more important than isolation. Those things are intact without propagandizing the story yeah. to make it be something it actually wasn't historically because yeah, yeah, yeah. filmmakers can do that with their films as they take an actual event and then they frame it within the context of what they want people to do and they're retelling history rather than yep. just presenting you with history and letting you make a decision as to yeah. what happened and uh, I, think, I think it was last year we saw a trailer we never saw the film but uh, and I forget what language it was but it was about the 2611 attacks and it seemed that we had a hero and we were like, I'd be worried about them heroizing, mm. just making it cinematic when they should right. just be telling a story. Just telling a story of telling what happened. the story of what happened. Obviously, this doesn't look like... No. I don't even know Zahan K and... Aditya R. I, if I know, if we've seen them, I don't remember. Yeah. I didn't recognize really anybody. Me too. And this just looks like uh, Hansel Mehta just been like, this is an untold story that... People need to know. Need to know. And also, there's a message that I think and, the and end a, and message a, And a that. primary person in this event who's a heroic person that we ought to remember. Yeah. That's no, what I feel. I would hope. I don't know if he's historical, maybe, uh, but I'd imagine he would be. Yeah. Um, even though I'm, I'm not saying you can't take creative liberties. Of course. In terms of stuff is you can cinematic. can composite several people into a hero. Yeah. That take the events of what three people did and make them a singular person. Yeah. To, to highlight the heroic of the moment. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought it looked really cool. Uh, I, I'd be very interested in watching it yeah absolutely uh, especially for the importance of the story yeah. and learning about a, an event that I'm not Mahesh is the uh, Mukesh Chabra he's the casting director yeah he's probably the biggest casting director in all of India I'm pretty yeah. sure yeah um, background da, da, da. just make sure I don't know anybody else here I do not think I do. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer if you are, are excited to watch it and anything else we need to know down below. Josh.